All right, welcome back, everyone. We are on episode 24 of John and Eric's epic adventures in Skyrim. So we are here. We just finished taking down Felglow Keep, I believe. We, uh, hitting the books was the quest. We gathered up the three missing books, and now we are going to going back to the College of Winterhold up over here to return the book. On the way there, we have a treasure map that we realized was right below Valheim Tower, so we're probably going to stop it there. And then we will probably continue down the road across the river. Uh, we might stop in Intel and sell a few items. We have a quest here anyway, right? Because we have an amulet of RK that we can pop off. This is like a minor quest to do, but mostly to sell all of our goods. We have so many things that we need to sell. And then we'll come back up and we'll finish this and probably end the episode on getting Eric's armor and We now have about 30,000 gold. Sorry, I'm in. Right there. And that doesn't even include all of the additional potions and stuff that we have to sell. That was basically just all of the items. We still have all of these potions that we have to sell. So that's why we're stopping into the other town is to sell everything. Kind of maxed out the vendors here. So I'll be handing those off to Eric. One thing I wanted to do before we go is create kind of a like a mid-game necklace. And um, I guess this might end up being our end game too. So yeah, I think I have the jeweler's kit in my inventory. Yes. And we what do we have? Um Hmm. Oh, we need a um a necklace, right? No, what's going on here? Can't we craft any necklaces? Maybe we have to be at the forge specifically. Yeah, there we go. That was kind of weird. Um, so we're gonna uh, craft a few necklaces here out of a golden ingot we already have in our inventory, and that should. Can we not, um, why is it not showing us any necklaces that we can craft? What's up with that? I am confused. Unless it's like a Smith's recipe, which it definitely isn't, but we used to be able, there we go. I was like, what the heck is going on here? Um, that was very strange. So we have a flawless diamond. What I was hoping to do is save this for if, if we ever get 100 chanting, we can do uh, a dual enchantment on it, so we're gonna save that for now. Instead, we're gonna do a gold diamond necklace and then enchant this with uh, magic resistance. We already have a magic resistance ring, so this is going to be our magic resistance necklace. And uh, I wanted to do that. Let's throw some of our other things that we don't need. Smith. We don't need that ring. Favorite of any. Let's see those other necklaces, blank necklaces will be there. Some of these we just have to sell. It bottom of selling. What else? Anything else really go in here? Not particularly. Let's see, our inventory is pretty much cleared out. I mean one one thing I'd like to do is enchant the bow we have with capturing soul gems. And then just use it to fill like petty and lesser gems as we go around traveling. All right, so that's things like wolves. Well, we might we might do that with a sword instead, right? Just like a uh... yeah. Let's see. Do we have any more galatite? I think we might be out. Do you need quicksilver for that? We need more galatite. We do uh, a sword that we hone, and. That's what we use to, for when we're on a horse and we just slay a wolf really quickly and collect its soul, right? That might be worth it. Um, yeah, let's let's go with that. Okay, we'll do a quick Galatite sword. I don't know if we're gonna need what we'll need just for a quick sword here. It's all ancient Nordic. We don't care about that. Uh, just a Nordic sword. We need. Yeah, an orcish ingot. Then we can craft this and we can refine it. Oh, it. And it should immediately show that we can craft it. We could, we could do a dagger. Uh, which of these weighs the least? 
That's an interesting question, right? I mean, I could make another bow, but I think I'd rather... Ugh. I really want another sword that we're carrying around, though. They want to do it with a dagger, and then we're... I mean, maybe I do, right? Because then I don't really care. It's so lightweight, I'll just keep it in my inventory. We'll, we'll basically just slash at a horse with a dagger. And, uh... Or not a horse, excuse me, a, a wolf. And we'll use that to collect its soul. That might work, you know? That... I... It seems kind of like a silly idea, but I think I'm going to go for it, honestly. It only uses one ingot, so... Or... Well, I, like, I have no idea if it'll actually work, but well, that is the wrong station. Carpet. Yeah, that's already basically maxed out. So this... It's more oomph. It seems like a silly idea, but it's probably not the silliest idea. Store that. Oh, those. What are we gonna do with all this paper? I think it weighs so little that we can just carry us, carry it with us. Do we want to bring any of this with us up? So we have all the translation foam into bed. I think we'll just leave it here. Same with all of these. You know, we, uh, here, I, I stored a bunch of these just because I was like, we don't need freaking 22 health potions in our inventory. We, we definitely have enough. Right, if anything, we still have too many just with this. These are the ones I crafted that I'm trying to get rid of, so. And uh, I went and I purchased a few more uh, really, good, like, great resistance potions here to prioritize using them more. So I think we're all set. Oh, I wanted to get training. That was the one thing I wanted. It's heavy armor training. And I left all the potions in the house, so we'll have to stop back in more. But and we won't. we'll be all set. I'm a little bit worried that we're going to go get heavy armor training. Well, we're going to level up, so we're going to get 10 levels of heavy armor training. So that's probably going to immediately just kill all of our gold. Then again, we have like 15,000 gold in um, potions, so I'm not too worried. But you know, we do need to make sure that we have enough gold when we arrive there so that we can get Eric's, uh, Eric's armor. Also slightly worried that we're going to be running around looking for, um, God, I can't remember his name. Um, I'm a little, a little out of it today, I'll be honest, but I'll drink enough water and I'll be fine. Oh, here they are. Perfect. Okay, Some people don't think I'm smart. Yes. I'll show you what I can. Well, Farkas, you might yourself. not be smart, but you're going to be rich. Oh, that just took out so many of our levels. Oh, that was like, how much gold was that? He just killed like 18K of our gold with five levels. Hey, that was a lot. That was a lot more than I wanted. Oh, we're halfway to I don't think we're going to be able to do that again. Um, <laughs> We, what are we going to invest in instead? We could do um, two-handed instead. I think we will. Where's uh, where's your brother? All right then. We could put it into archery because ale's a uh, ale. I see. I'm forgetting everybody's names today. But who did we talk to? Is that Farkas or Vilkus? We have to find the other one, and I don't immediately see him. So. Wait, you're Ayala, who was out there? Oh, I'm losing my mind. Well, either way, we'll we'll get our training. I've been here. running into I'll show you what I know. We'll I'll put it in. Screw it, we'll do it anyway. We don't have much gold. <laughs> we don't have much gold, and we might we might as well put it into something we need. That's good enough for me. Let's see. One of one of the other things I wanted to do was jump down. We, we need to get our um, our K prayer back up. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what's down here. Oh my goodness. Let's see. So. K. 
Okay. We all come into Arcade Light in the end, but there's no need to rush. Very nice. More yeah. traders used to travel to White Run before the Civil War began, and they stopped coming because the roads became dangerous. All right. So we have to go grab all those potions that we're desperately going to sell. I mean, I could sell them, sell a bunch of them to Smellathor. And I think we might. But now that we can sell any item to anyone in the mages, college, I think we're going to prioritize that. And uh, then we'll be off, right? We'll continue to the Falltime Towers. Grab that loot. It's right here. So good. Okay. Yeah, I can just hold it in my inventory. That should be fine. All right, the Vault Time Towers, woo! All right, so we're, we are here at Vault Time Towers. Where exactly did this treasure map say we have to go? It's like around the bend to the, to the, to the east looking west, right? So it's, it's down here. And it's looking, it's like right here, looking up this way. Yes. Yeah. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay. Flawless diamond, nice. Okay, opal circlet, some gold. We'll take a flawless diamond. That was totally worth it. Super lucky. Flawless diamonds don't exactly grow on trees, so. All right, what we'll do is we'll continue on down the path. I don't know if there's any mounds. Not really. We're just going to have to continue down the path here. I think we might be able to cross right there. You know, it's like a cave. That's an actual cave. So we'll continue down the path and uh, up into Windhelm. We'll drop off that amulet there. I'll see you then. All right, perfect. So we're in Windhelm. We just purchased a uh, new saddle for the horse, so that's good. We are looking for this. Where is he? Looks like... Oh, he's in the Hall of the Dead. Okay. Yeah, we can head over to that. Right. Okay, there he is. I was like... Here, we found him. I'd appreciate it if you don't bother my wife, Tova. She's <sighs> still in mourning. We, here's an amulet of Arcade. I hope RK grants my wife some comfort. Thank you. Here, I always pay my debts. Oh, yeah. He does uh, training. Wow, 500 gold? Jesus. You've been a good friend in a time of need. And we won't forget that. Great, no problem. Cool. I probably should have seen if there was any quests uh, on the board related to, like, deliveries, but I didn't really think of that. Let us sell some potions. How are you? Let's go. Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. I'm so oh. close to the answer. Uh, here, let's let's invest in his business, oh, right? Yes. Good idea. Best to let a professional businessman handle that do, money for you. I don't always understand how they do it. A wise choice, my friend. After all. What would a common adventurer know about the complexities of finance? What were you arguing about when we came in Just a while ago? Just a man's life work is all. I finally derived the location of the white file, but this dirty busybody won't let me get it. Um, if you tell me where it is, I can get it for you. You would do that? Yeah. It's good to know there are some people out there who are willing to help an old man. It's buried with its maker, Kural Mill, in a long forsaken cave to the west of here. Kural Mill was a crafty one, even in death. You would need the skills of a master alchemist to reach his resting place. Luckily for you, I've already made the mixture. Here, take it. Please, don't, don't dally. 
I've wasted enough time arguing with my useless assistant here. All right, just to be clear, uh, what is the white file? A legendary bottle forged in the days when Skyrim was just starting its turn to ice. A small container made of the magically infused snow that first fell on the throat of the world. It is said that the file will replenish whatever fluid is placed inside of it. For an alchemist like myself, it is the most pure expression of my art. To create from nothingness is... poetry. Hey, fair enough. Why are you still standing around here? Go get oh. me the fu No, 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 I, I need to sell some stuff. Look. Like, why am I still here? No, I, I have stuff to sell. Oh, okay, cool. Give me a decent amount for all of those. Uh, invisibility, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are the other... I get rid of Oh my god, he does not have enough gold for that. We'll have to do some trading. Fix a couple of those. Or Car sags, those are rare enough. Blah, blah, blah. Fire salt. Cross salt. Skip. Oops. I didn't that. Oops. Oh, uh, Hagraven items are rare enough. And what else? Uh, Mammoth Hearts, we don't really have the carry weight for them. Bitter Dust. Sapphire Bitter Dust. Yeah, we'll get three of those. I don't know what they do. <laughs> Tap Roots are rare enough. Vampire Dust, we'll take three of those. And sure, okay. Anyway... We were just selling two of these. And we can probably sell no we don't have enough. Okay, that's right then. It's a step in the right direction. Alright. Hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Walk uh walk away. Well. I uh, can see you're not one to be trifled with. Let this be a warning to you. <laughs> oh. That. Enough. Oh, he dodged it. He dodged my arrow. Jerk. Flawless Ruby. Very nice. Yeah, the rest is... The rest is meh. Maybe we should have left that Saber Cat alive so he could have a snap. Alright. More... No more robbers in the, uh... The Rift. Not, not the Rift. The, uh... Winterhold. Yeah, so like the town of Winterhold is in Winter, right? That's the name of the uh, hold here, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. We will ride right through here for us. I mean, the general store is here, but I don't think we have anything to sell. Whoa! Oh! Oh! What are you going at? Uh. Riding. Walking across this is creepy, but even riding a horse is even creepier. Seriously. All right, so let's see. Is there anything on our horse? Nope, there is literally nothing on our horse. Oh.
All right, so we're back in the college. It's you. We have I still a quest, right? Help. If you can spare the time. Yeah, yeah, your weird spell finally wore off. Exactly as I said it would. Now, are you ready to try again? I am confident it will work this time. Um, here, let's... What we're gonna do is switch At to third person as we do that. that. Just exactly as so we can appreciate the show. Now, are you ready to try again? I am confident it will work this time. Um... Okay, this try again. Worth it. Okay, now don't move at all. Oh my. Ah. That isn't right. Just wait. Just. I can fix this. I'm a cow. Oh no. That's not good. And now I'm a horse. Let me try again. This really is a turning out. Oh god. Way. I'm a dog. I'll get it right this time. I swear. Uh. I'm halfway across the room. Well, it all worked out in the end, didn't it? Uh, it's been a pleasure. Oh, no, it hasn't. Let's be honest. I have a long way to go before I'm ready for the kind of advanced magic I've been attempting. But at least I know where to start now. Thank you. You've been a great help to me. Necklace of Waning Magic. What's that? It was a pleasure. Necklace of painting magic. Magic resistance increased by 11%. Wow. Thank okay. you. We, uh, I mean, we need a better one than that, but, you know, because the one we're looking for is more like 22%, but step in the right direction. What time is it in game? It's around like four. So that means that all of the offices should have their, um, their staff in them, I believe. So let's go do that. Anymore. I think it's this one and the other one further down because there's four different rooms, right? The other one's just like bed beds. So this one has the actual offices in it. And that's where all of the the masters go upstairs in here. Let's see. Let's see if I've started remembering how this place is actually laid out. Um, nope. Nope, I was wrong. So, okay. I... <laughs> I have it backwards, I guess. We'll, uh... We'll, we'll switch over to the correct location. Ready? Snap. Alright, so... We're here, but this is actually like the third time that we've been here, because we... We placed the order, and then we crashed. And then we placed another order, and then we crashed on the way out. So we've probably wasted like 15 to 20 minutes just trying to get all of this to work. We're gonna try a third time. And hopefully it'll be okay. Um, you know, they say so. One of its own one of the things we did is we took this quest like twice now. But is there any college? There may be a matter in which your skills could be useful. The various points of focus for magic energies around the college have become polluted and need cleansing. Yeah, I'll help with that. Very well. These specially enchanted gloves will allow you to delve directly into the focal points for these energies. Go to each focal point and remove whatever impurities you may find there. Return the gloves to me when you have finished. Please exercise caution. This is not a procedure without possible consequences. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. so we can do that. And then, what else? So, what we basically discovered Enchanting was that need something. we only have two grand soul gems, and I completely forgot them. I, I was expecting to make more. Right? Or, or, like, it just it just didn't occur to me that, like, we had to find them. But he does have 50 greater soul gems. And I think what we're going to do is, because we kind of discussed this, that what we're wearing feels right is what do you need? essentially mid-level gear. We are going to upgrade our gear beyond this. Um, you know, past bouncer, stuff like that. Why does he have an orcish mace? Uh, we're... <laughs> What we're gonna do is, for at least for Eric's gear, we're just gonna use greater soul gems, um, probably to save a little bit of money too. Um, except maybe for his cloak, because his cloak we're going to do a grand soul gem, because that's going to be a piece of his end, like end game gear. Let me know if you need anything. So I believe what we'll do is we have this necklace. We'll use a grand soul gem for it. 
his cloak will use a grand soul gem and and it'll come out like uh like this one right magic resistance by 19 percent. we're gonna put that on both of them and now i'm totally regretting using grand soul gems on these i should have been saving them but i enchanted these with the expectation that these would be my end game equipment but we're probably going to upgrade to dragon bow so probably i mean that's you know literally if if we survive that far literally much but this is kind of forced because we don't have the grand soul gems so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do both of the bows, the Nordic dagger, um, the and I don't know, we'll go from there. May not lie. Yes. Okay, so we'll start with the Nordic dagger, right? This is just kind of like the crappy dagger that we use to kill junk mobs that are by our side, right? That we're on our horse, we're riding, and it's just, you know, wolves are nipping at our heels, and we just go, eh. Take it out. So that's what this is. Right? Start with that. Next up is my bow. And I think we're going to do soul reaping for the maximum amount of time. And I don't know if I'm going to regret this. But, and, and again, we'll use a greater. Because this will allow us to go hunting some larger game. Like mammoths, like giants, to get new soul gems. Um, I actually did this at like the lowest setting right there only to realize oh crap that was a mistake but then the game reset so I got lucky with this one um, yay game crashes so maximum for that now if Eric accidentally like you know kills it with without it being one of my arrows then it'll still fill the soul gem so that'll be terrifying to go do that yep. next we'll do Eric's bow Greater Soul Gem, or I have no idea. We'll make him light things on. Right? That sounds fun. That sounds about right. Um, this necklace is going to be one of the Grand Soul Gem ones. Just magic. That's an end game piece of equipment. The other end game piece of equipment is going to be um, actually. Well, let me let me see what it is if we just use that for for resist magic, right? Twelve. Oh, okay, that's a big difference. Um, yeah, we'll use the grand one for resist magic. I mean, I'll I'll get um more grand soldier, right? This isn't a flawless one, but whatever. There's that. Now we're gonna do, oh my God, it's gonna be so expensive. We're gonna need so much money to buy all this crap back. For his helmet, I think we were gonna do, what if I Magicka? They're literally the same, but the value goes up. So I like the idea that it's more valuable, um, even though it's gonna cost us more money. Have you heard from your family recently? So yeah, we'll craft that. Sure, that's no, good. Not really. Courier, S body, like greater. Uh, that's um, too bad. Do we fortify his health? Not I mean, he is a tank. Means I'm not being hounded about my progress at the college. Yeah, that, sh that sounds good. Sure. Gauntlets, greater. <clears throat> um. Oh, we... No, we can't really give him all that much, right? I guess we can help him fortify block, right? Because he he's going to be running around with a shield. Like, he does sword and move, so... That, or or we could increase his damage. No, I think we'll increase it. Sounds like a plan to me. What can we put on shields? So he's a Nord, right? I think we'll give him fire resistance. Or fortify block. No, that's physical damage. Yeah, well, he really needs some uh, fire resistance because he has zero. So doing a frost is also kind of helpful, but... Well, actually, I... Ah, I think what we'll do is we'll make this shock, and we're gonna put. Have you heard from your family? Um. No, not really. Courier yeah, we'll make this shock, which is thirty percent. He already has twenty-five percent. Uh, that's too bad. So this will bring it up to fifty percent. Not at all. And then for his boots, we'll put resist fire. Oh, that's weaker because it's a greater soldier. Never mind. Wow, wow. Um, <laughs> whatever. 
Anything else? I think that's it. Okay. Well, that was super stressful. Teacher, uh, being able to teach your followers perks, that would be nice. So Eric's wearing nothing. And he has a bunch of random gear. Okay. Oh, we we had gone around and checked if uh, you had any like to grand soul hands. gems for sale. And they, so they're super cheap. They're like 400 gold, right? So we're definitely buying them. It'd be nice if they were filled. No, you, you don't sell anything. Um, so at least we have a, f a few more empty Grand Soldiers. And nobody else is here. Okay. What we'll do is we're going to turn in these books that we found. We're also going to do a happy little quick save. You can't sell them. You are a potion master. Yes, Saran? Did have anything for us? Like, do we have anything that we actually need to sell? I think so. A bunch of paper, but... Oh yeah, we, we sold her a couple of uh, items that are just kind of clogging our inventory here, right? Let's sell that too. Safe travel. All right, now we're going to do a quick save. That was super stressful. So we'll uh, we'll jump forward to where we turn in all of these books, because I... No, nah, well, you know what? We'll just run right over. This isn't going to take... Um, and we... No, no, they, they don't have anything. You don't have anything. That is the wrong direction to go this way. I get so disoriented, right? It's, uh, uh, it's tough. Oh, here it is. Look, here's the thing. The Archmage believed it important. It must be powerful. We don't know that. We don't even know what it is. Where is Arin, anyway? In his quarters with that Thalmor, Ancano. Something urgent it sounded like. All right, that's enough. Let's return to our business, please. It is pretty fancy. So who are we talking to? Um, and where's Tolfdir? Because we have his Alembic, and I desperately want to give it back. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. I'm glad, yeah. Do you need help with something? Well, yes. This is rather embarrassing, but it seems I've misplaced some. I can't find my Alembic. I suppose I could use another one, but... Well, it sounds silly, but mine has sentimental value. If you happen to see it, would you mind bringing it to me? Is your name inscribed on the bottom of it, like this? Ah, yes, there it is. Thank you so much. There you go. 30 gold? Hey, well, at least you gave me a common soul gem. Okay. You know. Can't argue with that. Spells and incantations for those with the talent. To hey, he has two filled grand soul gems. Epic, right? We'll buy like four of these. So how many do we have now? See, piece of cake. We have twelve. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. that's more than enough. Uh, let's see. Anybody else sell stuff here? I don't think so. Oh uh, no, they're all just students. So fancy. Yes. We need to turn this to the Arcanium. That's right. What's that? Yep, this way. Turning them to the library. 200, or yeah, 200 hours in Wildlander. The college is always a maze. Okay. Found the books! I don't want books. to see you treating any of these books poorly. Books. Well, well. And you seem to be in one piece. Thank I'm glad you. he's concerned I'll about these me being in one piece. Inform if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you read it yourself? If I ah. recall it correctly, <laughs> that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here. Yay. I suppose you've earned these. What we get? 
Oh, some rare books. Okay. That's kind of cool. Wow. How many did we get? Fight well. Let's see. Are the any of these um skill books? Nice. Won't study it, but we will keep it. Restoration book, nice. No level up, but that's okay. And these give flat XP, too. No, I don't know which one this trained. Uh, alteration, right? Illusion. Nice. And yeah, all of those. And then this one's a conjuration. I don't know if you get like more XP from, what is it, having perks in those, but either way. Sell stuff. There are yes. spells and incantations for um, those with the talent to cast them. To build grand soul gems, very nice. I guess we got lucky, or unlucky right. before, right? You don't Hundreds sell of years have gone into Please make soul sure gems. your hands no are way. clean before touching it. Oh my. All right. He has four filled grand soul gems. The librarian has four filled grand soul gems. Four soul gems. Holy crap. And now he has like 7k gold. Do we have anything to sell him? Like, do, <laughs> are we trying to get rid of anything here? Um, yeah, we can sell some of our jewelry, right? Not getting rid of that. Um... We get, yeah, one of these, like the, we already broke, oh, we, we didn't, we haven't learned that trade. Same with this. Um, so we'll sell that, and was I, no, so I already have this one, right, which is like 16%, so I wasn't, and I was planning on enchanting this, but we decided not to, because we've got one that's basically enough. Am I not going to use any of these? Yeah, mage armor, look at this, um... Almost impenetrable force field that negates nearly all physical damage for 30 seconds. That's something we looted. Bad. Yeah, there isn't much that we can sell. I like to keep the books too. Get rid of the random charcoal and gear pelts in my. Sell a black soul gem. That's. We'll, we'll sell this because we're not into necromancy. We'll just give it to him. Like, hey. And, and he works for the college, and the college doesn't Until do necromancy. Next time. necromancy. So we're like, hey, can you store this, right? Maybe we should have given it to the Conjuration guy. He'd know how to, how to deal with that stuff, but... So, what's... Oh, speak to Tolf, dear. Okay, our next one. What do we do now? Tolf, dear! Tolf, dear! Good to see you. I was told to come talk to you. Did he now? Does he have information about our wonderful discovery? Oh yeah, Knight of Tears. Is that the one about something buried right. beneath right. Sarthal? Something that men and Mare fought over? I'll have to make a point of rereading it. I don't recall the details. I just can't seem to tear myself away. Whatever this is, its beauty is like nothing I've ever seen before. If you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment, I thought I might make a few observations. I'm sure okay. you've already noticed the marks. They're quite unlike anything we've seen before. Aliad, Gwemma, Daedric, or even Farmer. None of them are a match. Quite curious indeed. Now, hmm. I'm not sure that you're quite as attuned as I am, given my extensive years of experience. But this marvelous object, it practically radiates magic. And yet, it's unlike anything I've felt before. Archmage Aaron is already hard at work, and hopefully we'll have more information soon. Oh. I'm afraid I must no, intrude. It is urgent that I speak with your associate immediately. This is oh, look. most inappropriate. We're involved in serious research here. Yes, yeah. I have no doubt of its gravity. <laughs> this, however, is a matter that cannot wait. Well, I'm quite sure I've never been interrupted like this before. The audacity. I suppose we'll continue this at some later time. When we can avoid interruptions. I need you to come with me immediately. Let's go. I uh, apparently I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Will allow me to clarify the situation. 
I'd like to know why there's someone claiming to be from the Sigic Order here in the college. More importantly, I'd like to know why he's Wait, asking what? for you specifically. So we're going to go have a little chat with him and find out exactly what it is he wants. Sounds pretty hype. And oh, okay, we do have to. I said let's go now. Uh, aren't you just an advisor? That is true, but I still report to the old Mary Dominion. Talk down to him. I cannot ignore this situation. Don't worry. You can return to your petty squabbles and meaningless research as soon as this matter is resolved. Hey, my research is very important, okay? We hit undead nords over the head with silver sticks. Very critical research. Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna skip forward to when we actually get to where this guy's trying to go. Have I added any mods on top of Wildminder? Yes. We use um I have many important things on my mind. Your Winter Sun are not and we are a follower of RK. That means that um Are you quite sure we need to be speaking? Talk to you, bro. I'm not touching anything. Um it means that if I get knocked down using the power of RK, I can get back up. So basically it's like an insta heal. Or, or like, you know, an, an undeath. So we're we're essentially now, permadeath light. You are going to speak to this monk and find out why he is here. And then he will be removed from college grounds. Okay, that seems simple enough. Please do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. I like your robes. They're very fancy. What's, what's the gem middle there? Nice. It is good to meet you in person. Um, what's going on? Oh, wait. Please. We do not have much time. Oh. Oh, crap. He froze everyone. Okay. What's going on? What I happened, everyone? I'd like to talk to you. Hey. I've given us a chance to speak privately. But I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. The situation here at your college is of dire importance. And attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object... The Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally to tell you it must be dealt with. Yeah, we'll deal with it. Um, then why don't you do, why don't you do something about it? What does this have to do with me? You set this chain of events in motion at Sarthor. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. My presence here will be seen as an affront to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm also aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially in Onkarno, your Thalmor associate. Nevertheless, my Order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. Ben. Um, what, so what exactly is the problem? As you may have learned, this object, the Eye, is immensely powerful. The world is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Yeah, fair enough. Indeed, many in the Order believe it has already. Rather, something will happen soon, something that cannot be avoided. Um, I'll help, but I don't really know how, right? I'm, I mean, I'm an adventurer, right? Eric and I are adventurers. Unfortunately, the future is as obscure to us as it is to you. The overwhelming power of the eye makes it difficult for us to see. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my order, but I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. Um, who? He was once a student here at the college. Now he is... something different. Different. Okay, where can I find him? I, I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. Well, I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help. But this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. Hmm. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. Okay, fair we enough. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Never forget that. I'm sorry. Where were you about what to say What is the meaning something? of this? 
I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't understand. Don't play coy. You asked to see a specific member of the college. Here he is. Now what is it that you want? There's been a misunderstanding. Clearly I should not be here. I shall simply take my leave. What? What trickery is this? You're not going anywhere until I find out what you're up to. I am not up to anything. I apologize if I have offended you in any way. We will see about this. Okay. Well. Now we just have to find more about the, uh... Augur of Dunlane, or whatever his name is. Right? And I think that is going to be the end of our episode. So, we managed to get eight filled Grand Soul Gems, which maybe we should have gone looking around before we, uh used greater ones, right? But I mean, they're they're for Eric, right? He'll he'll be happy with what he gets. We just want to tell him. But that'll be the end. So thank you very much, everyone, for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Have a good night. Uh, 